decided to do this kit to make this kit around the, the Uno, which is the, 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 the most known product of Arduino. Many people yep. think that Arduino is Uno, right? But, but actually, nowadays, Arduino has so many products in, in catalog, uh, more advanced with, uh, you know, faster, faster clock, more memory with uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, whatever. Still, the Uno is an iconic product that, I mean, it, it's where all we started and, and it's still a super wanted product. You know, we released that, we, I mean, I, I wasn't there, but it was 2010, so a long time ago and, and, and about uh, more than 10 million units of were sold as of last year when we decided wow. to make another product which was also designed by Giuseppe, which was a, a limited edition of a miniaturized uh, Oh, of the, of yes, <laughs> yes, the, I saw that it was totally adorable. And yeah, there were so many people on my feed who were just, yeah, who were just going crazy over it. Very, very cool. And, and, and when we launched that, that celebration product, we, <laughs> we found a very old article from Make Magazine after the Uno was launched like 12 years ago saying, oh, the Uno has crossed the 10,000 sales threshold. So yeah. it's going to stay. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Very true. So I'm, I'm curious, like, I mean, obviously you have a lot of statistics and things from your current Uno sales about the popularity of the product and got one more I'd like to solder. And, and so you can probably like make some projections from that, but like for a totally new product like this and one that's quite different because you have to actually solder it yourself, like how do you determine how many you're going to build it first and, and like how much to, you know, how much to commit to that? And like part of it, part of the reason I'm asking, it's, it's very different, but you know, there are a lot of small maker friends that I have who, you know, produce one, you know, one thing or a series of boards and, and even us ourselves, when we're doing something new, you know, it's always, we always have this question. It's like, okay, how many are we going to make for that first run? So I'm curious how, how you all go about kind of figuring that out and answering that because it seems like the stakes are so much bigger, right? <laughs> that, that question is really spot on <laughs> and that's exactly what we are asking ourselves all the time. <laughs> Long conversations in the office. Yeah. So it's, it's no easier, <laughs> basically. There's, there's no. <laughs> Every <laughs> new product is, is a different story. Is a different story. So on one hand, we, you know, we, we try to cross the, the the track record of similar products we have, so kits, and at the same time, we talk to to many people around the world. So all the resellers, distributors, yeah. you know, also journalists. I mean, everyone who could have some insight on what the market is is asking and so on. So it also depends on the time in the year when you launch it, yeah. you know, Christmas is a, is a different, is a, is a story and so on and so on. So, so we try to balance our forecast with, with the, with the problem that, uh, <laughs> well, you know this well, you, you need to order things in advance if you, if you want to. Yep. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. To make something happen also, especially this time. So yeah. when, when suppliers to tell you, okay, right. This order is going to be shipped to you in six months from now, eight months from now. <laughs> and you say, okay, where is my crystal ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This particular project, something that makes us very eager to tell this story is that, of course, we, we did a mix and match of testing the temperature with our resellers, testing and looking at some conversations going on in the world. But we precisely remember some comments when we released the Arduino Uno Mini limited edition, some comments of people in the community saying, oh, it would be super cool and great if you do, if you do the Arduino Uno very first edition back to 2005. And this is what we did because this is very similar to the very, very first Arduino Uno. So one of the, let's say one of the ingredients of the recipe is also to listen to the community and you see, sometimes dreams come true. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was going to ask about that actually, if the, because I mean, I've definitely seen, I've seen some old Unos that looked like they were entirely through holes. And so 
what what is the history of the uno did it actually was the very first one a completely through hole do it yourself kit or was it just through hole but pre-assembled or what was the yeah what was the progression there so as far as I know, Uno has never been sold in in a kit form. No, so it it's always been sold yeah. as as a fine as a finished product. Then of okay. course the first versions, because there there have been multiple versions of it. Of course they had the bigger components through hole, so they had this you know the, this look that you were referring to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. But of course, but okay, when, when it comes to forecasting amounts, there is also another thing that it, 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 yeah. it, it happened multiple times that at last minute we increased quantities because we, we said, okay, lots of people are requesting this. So that's, that's cool that like, that basically the people, the people wanted the Uno, the, the DIY Uno. And so you're like, okay, well, let's, let's do it. 